Friends, here we will be talking about installing JQ command, verifying the version of JQ just to verify whether JQ is installed properly or not. And then we will see how to get help from command line to use JQ command. First, let me go with installing JQ command. If you remember, we already know the command to install JQ command on different operating systems. But here we have to remember one point that is we must run all these commands from root or with root privileged user. See, suppose if you are on CentOS or RHEL, then to install JQ command, basically we can use yum install JQ. But here, this works if you are running this command from root user. Suppose if you are not from root user, then if you are running from some XYZ user, let's say this is some XYZ user, then we have to provide sudo privileges. That's it. But here I am on Mac operating system. Now let me run my JQ command installation using brew. And this XYZ user is already having root privileges. Anyway, JQ is already installed. Now let me verify JQ version. This is the command just to verify JQ command. This is 1.6 version. That's fine. Now let me give the command to get the help for your JQ. So if you run jq space hyphen hyphen help, then you will get how to use jq command and what are the different options and what are the filters. See here. After running jq space hyphen hyphen help, you are getting some information about jq, then how to use jq command. See there are different ways to use your jq command and there are different options. So while going through this course, we will cover all these three syntaxes and here options are always optional and if you go down you can see different options that's fine and if you want to go through the documentation complete documentation end to end of your jq command you can also run man jq command then press enter you can see complete documentation for your jq command that's it okay thank you